Here at the National Guard Armory in Rayford, you can see dozens of soldiers are already home after spending weeks in Puerto Rico. They're home. We had missions in Ponce, Guayama, Vialba, Coamo. North Carolina National Guardsmen spending 40 days in Puerto Rico. The Caribbean island left in ruins with no electricity, running water, or food. The people were very happy. Uh, they were excited to see soldiers from the National Guard. Sergeant Salvador Moreno using his native language of Spanish to help translate the needs of the people to his unit, calling it a useful tool on this mission. So I was able to translate and coordinate with my higher ups the needs from the distribution center and the places we were going to and then further assist everybody in, in the team to understand what the mission was going to be like that day. Every day, these soldiers cleared debris from roads, completed road repairs, assessed infrastructure damage in addition to distributing food and water, traveling over 20,000 miles. For Sergeant Marino, seeing the children on the island made him emotional. I would say that they're very resilient as kids. I, I don't know if they realize the full impact of the situation. And at the armory, some families have already reunited. My wife doesn't like for us to eat fast food. And but it's a splurge meal for the Singletary family because daddy's home. But my kid, my babies love uh, McDonald's Happy Meals, and I said, you know what, we're going to get a Happy Meal. A celebration for this family and the many others who have waited for their soldiers to come home. And soldiers tell me it's good to be home. Of course, the first order of business is spending much needed time with family. We're now reporting in Rayford, Akila Davis, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.